All right, our first guest says Europe is a huge concern for the U.S. economy and stock market. Joining us now is Ron Heller, CEO and Senior Portfolio Manager of uh, Paratus Asset Management. Ron, thank you so much for joining us. For a while there, I thought there was some sort of a disconnect going on between what was going on in Europe and the U.S. market, but it appears that is not the case. How worried are you about what's going on in Europe? Well, it, there's a lot of uncertainty, and uh, if you're an investor that has a lot of exposure to Europe, then uh, you should be concerned. In our world in high yield, we don't have a lot of exposure. Most of our companies have most of their sales domestically, so it's not a big concern for us. Let's talk about high yield, Ron. 33% of all the money flowing into mutual funds actually went to junk bonds. So what is it? Is it that the we go back to the rating agencies again, and these companies should not be rated junk after all? They have solid balance sheets these days. They do. The balance sheets are very, very in good shape. Um, probably the best that we've seen in our careers. Um, you know, they're flush with cash. They're not doing uh, crazy things with the uh, with the balance sheet and buying uh, you know over uh, overvalued companies. You know, they're taking care of it. They they're lean and uh, they're being very wise. And uh, rates, you know, for borrowing costs for them are, uh, are are pretty low at historical levels. So it's it's a good time in, in high yield. You say in your notes here, Ron, you believe it's getting tougher and tougher to make money in this market. So where are you putting your money? Are there any particular sectors that you like or particular companies for that matter? Yeah, we're, we're still pretty eclectic. You know, we're, we're, we're not the biggest manager on the, on the street like uh, some of our competitors, so we can still be pretty nimble. Mm -hmm. um, we like some uh, uh, healthcare names, uh, some energy names. You know, United Refining out of uh, Pennsylvania is a great name. Uh, not well discovered, um, and uh, you know we're just kind of eclectic. We go to where the value is in the market of uh, companies that are going to be prosperous in, in this market environment, where, where, where the economy is going. Is the notion that high yield, you know, basically you're taking a risk because these companies have a low rating, so you get a bigger return? Is the notion for you that the return is bigger than say what regular equities are going to give these days? You know, earnings might be done for a while. Yeah, uh, you know, we haven't seen a lot of, uh, you know, revenue uh, growth. Um, obviously, earnings has been, has been spectacular, and, and they're taking care of their businesses. But, you know, going forward, you know, if you play in an index in, in high yield, you're going to get about 7% yield. And, uh, you know, ours is, is a couple of hundred basis points higher than that because uh, the, the nature of the companies that we can invest in. But rating agencies, they create the, they create the opportunity, you know. If you can tell yeah, me the difference wrong. between a... <laughs> If you can tell me the difference between a, a B minus and a triple C name, um, then, then let me know because that, that triggers a lot of selling when, when that's downgraded. So that creates opportunities for managers like us to be able to pick up double digit returns with pretty short durations. So for the rest of the year, Ron, how do you see this playing out? Yes, the earnings will be pretty good in the first quarter, but where's the demand coming from? Emerging markets have pretty much stalled out. We're worried about China. We know what's going on in Europe. Uh, you know, what's your take on the rest of the year? I think it's going to be pretty mundane like it is now. There's no growth. Um, you know, you saw the employment numbers last week. You know, there's, there's no growth there also. I mean, you have to get back above 235000 a month just to have uh, for several years just to get back to full employment, and we're well below that. So I think we're just going to muddle along. And so at, at Paradis, you know, in, in, our, in our high yield ETF that we have, HYLD, we just keep collecting coupons and keep banking that money every month and, and, uh, and, and live large. Well, very good. Ron Hallow of Paradise, thank you so much, Ron, for joining us. We appreciate it. Makes Thanks sense. for having me. And, and you're taking advantage of the fact that the rating agencies are behind the Absolutely. It's good stuff. Yeah. All right, well, Bank of America, apparently.